I'm sorry, I just, um, I just want it left. You understand? You haven't seen your brother's watch lying around, have you? He said that he was late, but he wasn't. He had loads of time, didn't he? I'd forgotten that. Mum, see from Cousin Mark? I'm trying to get tidied up here. Margaret Dixon. Mum? I'll just put them on the table in the other room. I'll have a look later. She says to give her a call if you need to talk. Maybe you should. Mum? Well, there's nothing to say, you say. Right, I've got to get going. Oh. You'll be all right now? Look after Bryn for me. Make sure he has something to eat. Don't you think you should ask him? No. It'll turn to rain anyway. But... Where are you out to, Mum? I won't be long. Can I come? Mum told you to stay home. Hey, it's just me. But you're... Nothing's changed. More's the pity. And that doesn't mean you're giving Mum a hard time. Not now especially. You know where she's going. And why are you following her then? Mum told you to stay home. I wanted to see you. Well, here I am. Not like this. I understand. You want to see me all boxed up and looking tidy. Do you remember Madame Two Swords and how they looked all waxy? They're made of wax. All still and freaky looking. Well, that sort of gives you an idea. <laughs> Look, 
Bro, I'm just telling the truth. Remember the good stuff, the best. Remember how we used to play with a mini moat and how we used to go to rugby and... Getting mum's car stuck in the sand when the tide was coming in. You better not tell her about that. Well, I suppose it doesn't make a difference now anyway. I think it's best if you go home. I can't. Did you hear? Don't get some food on your neck. Bryn? How come you didn't go with her? I didn't want to see him there. Not like that. Anyway, I've got all I need to remember him. Up here. And so have you. And Mum? She's got some stuff she needed to say. It was some daft argument. And then he was off. It doesn't make it her fault. I know that. You've got to tell her. I have, of course I have. Tell her it was mine. Rin. It was my fault. It was an accident. You weren't even there. You're serious, aren't you? Where's this chapel? Where was you? You told me to go home. But I know you. I knew you wouldn't. So I've been waiting here. I don't like it. Can you go? You said you wanted to see me. Poor ma'am. That morning, did you two have a fallout? No. Wait, but it was nothing. A bit of argy over the last tea bag. that was all. And you were late, that's what you said. Did I? Yeah. I'm always running late. <laughs> Was. You going in then or what? What time is it? Time I gave it back. Is that why you came? Mum was looking for it. I didn't want her to know. But you had it. Why? Because then she'd know it was my fault. That's why you were late, wasn't it? You were looking for this, but I had it, and then you drove too fast. No. It was hammering it down. Do you remember? It was bouncing off the tarmac. I hit the puddle a bit skew if and the car just took off. It's not your fault. Can you do it for me? Ready, Bryn? Catherine, car's here. Yeah, come in. The whole nonsense with the tea bag. The last one, he said for you not to worry. It was nothing. <sighs> Your brother's watch. I've been looking. Where did you find it? Jonna gave it to me. 